Yes, hi everyone. Um, I don't know if you had the chance to take a look at our video from the DSE. Um, we had a really cool stand and today we're here to show you basically the background information and how everything is set up in our system. Uh, what we will do today is show you how to implement the butler as well as our uh, Osram light and um, this plug here, which you can also control over this device. So the, uh, the setup is basically pretty easy. Once you're here in our CMS, you will get your own section that is called Butler. And to activate this new device here, um, I click on Butler and when I hit the add button, I will have to name it and in this case, I will go with Jeffrey. So this will be my new device. And you can see already that I do get an activation code in this window right here. So the next step we have to do is actually to get this thing running. So just like when you set up your, uh, your internet at home, you usually use an uh, IP address to get onto the device before you get started. Actually, there are two ways to install the Butler for the first time. You could either um, use the microsite we provided or you just uh, type in the regular IP address, which uh, I'm doing here right now, which is in this case 192.168.4.1. As you can see here, I'm already on my starting map. Um, I will use English in this case because we do have an English tutorial, but uh, just to give you a little heads up, if you click on the drop down, there are way more languages to choose from. Just an example, we have Spanish, Italian, French, Portuguese, Arabic. So any of those languages should be totally fine for you. So I go with English now and I hit next. And like I said, I'm already in, in the menu where I have to enter the key, which is the activation key that is shown here in the first window. So pretty easy. I just double click, copy, go back here, paste it inside and I go on next. Now, I will choose the Wi-Fi connection. So I have to wait a moment. So I will search for the Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah, I, I wasn't talking while I was entering the password. Otherwise, I would probably misspell it. So you see now in this situation where, where this whole thing is getting connected, you will see um, this part lighting up blue and it will go on and off like it's doing right now. And um, this is a status that takes a few seconds until it's all finished. Right here on the screen, you also, you see like a, like a traffic light that shows you the different light um, possibilities. So we have blue, we have green and we have red. So what we want in our case now to happen is that it's supposed to be actually connected to the internet and that's uh, the status we want to reach. If nothing will change, the worst case that could happen is that it will turn red and that would mean that there is an error that occurred and in this case we would have to do the setup again. Okay. So finally, the butler is lighting up in green, which is very good for us. So we can actually already start to continue. So right here in, in the menu, you will also get, get a visual that everything worked out. You will see a check mark that, that's saying everything went well. So we go and got it. And as you can see, um, like I said, I named this uh, butler Joffrey. It's already here, part of the menu. So what's actually happening now is we set up our IoT hub, which is 
the butler and now we actually have an, an access point between Vineo, the software, and the parts for the surrounding. Like I said, like the lamp and the plug here. So they, those things will communicate over the butler with our CMS. This is the whole magic behind it. And to do so, I'm gonna click here uh, on the butler and now I can actually add devices. Therefore, um, I just hit the plus button and let's say we start with, uh, with the smart plug here. So oh, let me turn it on. Yeah, it's on. And here you see, and you see right here, now it, it's already saying smart plug. So yes, actually this is the smart plug I want. So what I do right now, um, I will give it a name and I will say, okay, that's my radio plug, no, plug number one, because maybe I don't work with one, but I have a big store, for example, and I want to use five of those plugs. So then it's easy for me to, to um, give them certain numbers and maybe I also mark a little one right here. You can do it if you want to. So, okay. And now you see this little symbol right here and the thing is already activated. I don't know if you see it very good. Now, it should be lighting. Now, did you hear? It makes a little like a click sound and also this symbol will light up in blue so now you actually know it's already on and the cool thing about it is that i'm actually controlling it right here in the vino cms i can turn it off you hear it again clack and the lamp is off i turn it on clack the lamp is on so we already have the sound file that is working pretty well next thing we want to try to uh, bring in our network is this little lamp. So let me connect it right here. Okay, it's working, we know that. So again, all I do in, in Vineo is hit the plus button here and I will search for a new device. And you see how it went off and on real quick. That means the device is actually talking to my network that's already running and it's understanding hey guys i'm here i want to enter the network that's basically how how zigbee works that's uh, the the technology behind here and while i'm talking it already says extended color light wonderful so like uh, the same thing with the plug i can go in here and say okay let's call it uh, lamp number one. Okay. So, first thing for me, just to see how it works. One click, turn it off, turn it on. So, what I can also do is when I hit on the lamp, you will see right here very much every color that you can think of. It's 16.7 uh, million colors we are able to choose from. I don't know if any of you guys can see all those colors, but at least we see the whole color range in here. And just by, by uh, holding my mouse and moving it around, I can choose from any kind of color. Let's say we go in like a bluish direction. And also I wanted a little a little darker boom there it is that's the color you want to go with no problem you're more like for the green and yellow style we can do that as well and if you say um, I wanted a little nice and you know have a little mellow surrounding I would recommend you turn down the, the light itself a little bit but if you say hey give me all 
the color you get we can also put it up here and it will be really bright really shiny really nice looking catching a lot of attention here maybe even like a little reddish um, yeah so you can just play around you see just by moving how the colors changing oh yeah so i like the blue so i would probably go with a blue bluish light yes great the question is still um what are we going to do with that and like uh, you just saw like the whole setup we did with, with the fan and the monitor and the light well what we do right now is actually we will do the setup here in the cms and then you will see the outcome so therefore actually um just working on a regular basis with Vineo, I will set up a new playlist. And um, let's say we call it um, Girl with Hair, because, you know, it's like a, like a hair video. So we actually are going to have four contents in here. I already pre uh, prepared those so it's easier to see. Um, you see they're all named by Laura, that's uh, one of the ladies working in our office. So and that's so I don't get confused uh, of the order. I already already named them like Laura 1, 2, 3 and 4. And this is basically how I drag and drop the content in here. And basically now my regular playlist, once I go on save, is already done. So if I didn't want to have any happening in the surrounding, we could just start from here. But now I'm going to show you how you actually set up an event. When you just click on the content that's in the playlist, you will get to this new window where you have uh, three options to choose from. And today we're going to talk about the last one, that's events. Like you see right now, there's no event here yet. So what are we going to do? We will set up a new event. So once, once I'm in here, I can decide, do I, want to, uh, do I want my content to start when the, uh, do I want my event to start when the content is starting or do I want my event to start when the content is ending, depending on what kind of content you're showing. In this case, the one here, um, to, to make it easy, we said, okay, we will just uh, concentrate on things starting with the content. So to, to get the trigger, I go and choose content start. Okay, now is the question, what do I want to start? So the first thing I want, for me is that the lamp will go on. So I go on my Butler device right here and then I can choose the device I want to use. And if I scroll down all the way, I will see my lamp number one, the, ones, the one that I already have set up here. But for the video, we will make it more into like a yellowish, Kind of light and maybe it's a little bright right now so let me turn that down a little yeah i think that will work so my first event is created the trigger i'm using is content starts the action i'm using is that the lamp will go on very nice okay so the second event here i want the fan to turn on. So what do I have to do? I will just set up a new event like I did before. And like I told you, the trigger will still be, which means my video starts. Please start with uh, the next action. So this will be, again, a Butler control device. And in this case, I want the radio plug. And now I can choose to turn on or turn off. In this case, because something is starting that will need energy <clears throat> three. Now I want my uh, fan to stop running. So since the fan is connected 
to the radio plug, I just need to tell the system to turn it off. So again, I go on control butler device and again I go on the radio plug and now I say turn it off when the content starts and I create this event as well. Okay, last but not least, uh, scene number four that will be in the dark. So now I don't want no, no light anymore. So as the content starts, I will go on my butler device. In this case, it will be the lamp and when I hit the middle button here, that means the lamp should go off. So let me create this event and I hit OK. And now finally, I just need to save it and it's all set up. And what it's going to look like, I will show you in just a second. So this is how we do it. We have four sets. First set turns on the light um, like we did in the back end. Now comes scene number two where we actually communicate with the plug here and turn it on. This way the fan starts. Looks pretty cool. How her, her hair is moving here. Now movie number three starts where we say, okay, please turn off the fan or basically turn off the switch, which will affect the fan. And now scene number four, see it's getting dark. So what we do, turn off the lights. That's it, all the magic. That was like I wanted to show you today the setup of the Vineo Butler with, uh, the, with the um, connectors like the plug and the lamp. That was it. You guys have a good day. Bye bye.